Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. In this video, I am going to show you how to sign up to Make.com, how to connect Make.com to your DocuWare system, and how to prepare DocuWare to be able to use Make.com webhooks in your DocuWare workflows. Step one is to sign up to Make.com. What I've done down below in the description is I've included a link. When you click on that link, it will take you straight to the sign up page for Make.com. The sign up page looks exactly like this. Within here, follow the sign up steps. You can also sign up with Google, Facebook or GitHub should you prefer. Make will then email you a email verification link. Follow those steps and Make will create you a completely free account. When you first activate your account, you'll be brought into your hub or your home page. The first thing we need to do is connect Make to DocuWare. To do that, it's incredibly simple. Click on create a new scenario, and this will take us to the default scenario page. If we click the plus in the middle of the screen, search for DocuWare, click on the DocuWare link. Now it doesn't matter which one of these we choose at this point in time, but these are all the various options that DocuWare give us that we can do within Make directly into DocuWare. What I'm trying to do at this stage is just connect my Make system to DocuWare for future scenarios. So I'm going to choose any of them. What I then get is a pop-up asking me which connection I would like to use. I want to click Add. Under Connection Type, I want to choose DocuWare Cookie. I can give the connection a name, so Demo System. The URL will be a DocuWare Cloud URL. The, it's really important here that we don't include any um, of the forward slashes or any of or HTTPS or anything like that. So I just want the name of the DocuWare system. Type in your username and your password. Click Save. You then get a pop-up appear. DocuWare is going to verify the connection. You'll see now under connections I've got demo system, click OK, and that is now connected. I can now press the exit, doesn't matter if I save the changes or not, because if I now look under connections, what I can see is the demo system has now been connected to my make system. The second connection and the second default connection I want to make is just allowing DocuWare to have make available for later use within the system. So to do that, again, this is really, really simple to do. Click Create a New Scenario, and again, that's going to pick, um, pop up with the default blank page. Click the plus, search for Webhook, and the top option, which looks like this. I want a custom Webhook, and again, now I want to add. Give it a name, so again I'm going to call default connection and click save. What you'll see now is Make gives me a URL for the for this webhook in particular. What I don't want, what I want from this is I want to take the prefix of this URL. So I want to take everything before the forward slash and before the individual ID for this particular webhook. I then want to go back into the DocuS system, click on my name at the top, click configurations, and the configurations page will appear in front of me. From Vin configurations, I want to go to web services, create web service connection, and it's going to be a REST web service, really important we get that correct. Give it a name, so I'm going to call it make.com. under the URL, copy, or paste, sorry, the URL that we've just copied from within Make, set it as no author authorization required or no authentication, click save, and that has now created and saved the webhook for me, or the default Make connection. Again now, within here, I don't need to save this, so I can come back out, click discard changes, what I have now done is I have now set my DocuS system up and set Make up to be able to talk to each other 
without any issues. If you have any questions, guys, please don't feel free to put them in the comments. Add some comments in there. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, and in later video series, I'll also show you how we can then use make.com within DocuAir to trigger workflows, update index data, auto stamp documents, and plenty more. Thanks for watching.